So you clicked on this video because you may be struggling with something and maybe even something that you've never told anyone before that you're struggling with and your only way to cope or try to figure this out is by trying to find videos on YouTube to try to answer your questions. Sometimes you feel so alone in whatever struggle that you are in that you really don't have anyone to talk to or you may have people that you previously talked to but talking to them did not result you in feeling any better. You may have even felt worse after talking to certain people. Making this video was really important to me because I was in your same exact shoes just a few years ago. I'm sure that was not going to be the last time that I felt like that, that I struggled with something. I have been through so many hardships in my life that made me feel like I wanted to quit and I'm sure that you've been through a lot of struggles, a lot of life circumstances that are just making you feel lost and you may not know what to do, where to go. So hopefully this video is a way for you to help you get out of your thoughts and help you get thinking about some things that you can start doing and just shift your perspective just a little bit because the things that I used to Google back in the day when I felt really helpless, when I felt really lost, would have a lot of people concerned. Like I would literally just search how to and then blank whatever it is I was feeling. How to not feel sad, how to not struggle, what to do if I'm struggling, things like that. So I know no one has ever told me personally that they did the same thing, but I know, me being human, that if I search for those things, that I'm sure a lot of other people go through these things. There's a reason why when you look up certain things, there is a result because you're never alone. So with whatever struggle that you're going through, you're not alone. Whether you're dealing with mental health issues, whether you're dealing with struggling about the way that you view your body, whether you're going through relationship problems, friendship problems, whether you feel lonely, whether you're losing a job, whether you don't know what kind of career to even go into, whether you just lost a loved one, everyone at any point of time can go through something that has them feeling like they have no idea what to do. So in this video, we'll just chit chat. I'll share with you some ways that have helped me reason through my struggles and move past them. The very first thing is journaling. I have mentioned this a few times on my YouTube. I have a big stack of notebooks of my journals and I really have been journaling throughout the years, but the points of my life that journaling was really useful was when I was feeling my lowest and when I was feeling the loneliest. And journals are just different than any other type of reasoning through your thoughts. Like, Sometimes I would suggest people to make videos of themselves kind of doing verbal journals, verbally stating how you feel because not everyone is into writing things down. But I always would recommend journaling over anything else, over recording yourself, over talking to yourself because they're guaranteeing that you're going to slow down your thoughts and you're going to be one with, it's just literally going to be you and your notebook. And your thoughts are going to slow down in a way that you're going to be able to make sense of them because sometimes when we feel so overwhelmed, there's so much going on around us, we're overthinking about everything. I know I do. I, I like one thing can go wrong and then I'm overthinking about everything. It really can spiral and get out of control and the best way to deal with that is to write things down literally anything you're thinking even if you don't know how to journal let me tell you first of all there's no right or wrong way on how to journal but if you don't know where to start literally just write down all of your thoughts like write today's day and start writing hey today i'm feeling this and that and then just start writing start writing and sometimes you're gonna have to force yourself to start writing but trust me once you start it's gonna be like a dominoes effect you're not gonna want to stop because chances are if you're going through something you're gonna want to put all of that information out like just naturally you're gonna want to reason through your thoughts you're gonna want to understand them more you're gonna want to understand yourself more so starting is really really the hardest part just like with anything else in life the hardest part is actually starting doing it is not hard at all in fact you're gonna enjoy it and you're gonna like it i can tell you sometimes where i was going maybe through my darkest days because i felt so lost i had no idea what to do with my life i had no idea what to study in school i had no idea what i was good at i just i was really struggling in school at some point point two and I was feeling just really down like I felt like I could not talk to anyone because on the outside it seemed like nothing was wrong it seemed like I was on track it seemed like 
everything was perfect where in my head everything was anything but perfect it was just chaos i was feeling helpless hopeless and just feeling lost and the only thing that i had that helped me is writing and just being with my own thoughts to this day i really am grateful that i resorted to writing because i can always go back to these pages and i can see how i reason myself through really dark times in my own head and i think that you can do the same too don't underestimate the power of writing it can work for anyone men or women it does not matter i feel like journaling a lot of times is viewed as as a girly activity but journaling is just you taking your thoughts and putting them on paper and no one should underestimate the power of journaling number two realize that everything ultimately happens for a reason and of course some things they may happen and there is a reason but we may never find that reason in our own lifetime but there is a reason so i'll tell you an example that is more recent but i can go on and on about the examples i can give you but i want to give you one that will give you the best idea i just finished my last year of residency slash training um and my residency year was incredibly difficult it was so bad to the point where i wanted to quit multiple times throughout the residency um really from the first week of starting i was feeling miserable um, for a lot of different reasons. It wasn't just anyone in the program. It wasn't the program itself. It was a combination of reasons that were making it feel overwhelming and I was feeling alone in that program. Even though I had co-residents, I had amazing mentors, amazing people around me, um, but it is what it is and it was really freaking tough at the beginning. I wanted to quit every single day. I was crying every single day. I had literally, I was literally holding back tears at work every single day and I'm not exaggerating that. It was a really dark feeling. I really hated it. I hated going through it and I was pushing back the urge of quitting every single day. I don't think words can describe how tough it was, how tough it was to deal with that and aside from that I had a whole life to take care of to live outside of residency. So I had to just keep going. The reason why I didn't quit is because I knew why I wanted to do a residency I had a strong why, which is to be a stronger pharmacist and to best serve my patients. And also I'm not a quitter. I don't like to quit. I, I believe that there's a reason why I wanted to do a residency and I wanted to see it through. So I ended up just, I kept going until we had this break towards the end of the year. And during that break, I really used it to refresh, restart. It was still incredibly difficult, but that first half of the year was just horrible. The second half, however, things were starting to get a little bit better. I was so traumatized from the first half of the year that the second half of the year I was putting in insane hours, really working on myself, and I was getting better and better at my rotations. I was getting amazing feedback, and I was gaining a lot of confidence that I did not have before. Fast forward towards the end of my residency, I was just exhausted from the year. I was exhausted. I wanted nothing to do with work. And I know for a fact that if I had a good year in residency, that I would be ready to work at that point. But because I had a tough year, I did not want to work and I wanted to take a break. This is what I mean when I tell you everything happens for a reason. That first half of the year that was really tough, I feel like it happened for a reason. It happened so that I get so exhausted from residency that I eventually decide to take a break towards after graduating residency and that break was the best thing I ever did for myself. That break I was able to travel to five countries, I was able to travel to other multiple cities outside of the five countries, I was able to get engaged, I was able to just sit with myself and reflect on my life and really think of what I wanted to do in this life. I realized that I needed to start YouTube and TikTok and here I am, I'm still starting it. it feels amazing to start and i would have never done this if i did not have a tough year in residency i would have been ready to start a job and start making real money right after graduating but because i had a tough year i like there was no there was no question about it i just had to stop and take this break and that is what i mean when i tell you that everything happens for a reason and i can go on and on there are so many other examples but this is just a recent one and everything ended up working out at the end you know i did not even apply for any jobs 
any jobs during my break. I took an over five month break from work and guess what? An opportunity came to my door and I accepted it. And while I was waiting for that opportunity, I traveled and I was living my best life. So do you think that these few months made a big impact on my career? No, they didn't. In fact, they made me probably a better version of myself. Maybe I didn't advance so much clinically or I didn't advance much in my job but I advanced myself a lot personally I got to know myself more I got to reset myself I got to be more in tune with my goals and that is really the most important thing so whatever you're going through just know that it happened for a reason and I know that it can be hard to believe that but for me it's always a good reminder and it's crazy to think but all of the most horrible things that have happened in my life they made me a better person at the end of the day and this is really not me rationalizing with it. Because I've thought about this a lot. I've written about it a lot. And I'm like, okay, am I just rationalizing it? So then it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. And I feel better about myself. I feel better about my situation. But I look at it and I try to look at it as objectively as possible. And I'm like, no, like I, I am better off after this horrible thing happened. Not to say that horrible things happening are good but I'm just saying a lot of the times they change us for the better whether we realize it or not. Another thing that I want you to realize is that just because you're going through something horrible does not mean that you should look at other people and think oh my god they have their life so much easier. Oh my god why can't I be like them? Why can't I be as smart as them? They don't even try and they have it all trust me there's a saying that goes if you put everyone's problems in a bucket including yours you're gonna grab yours so freaking fast because everyone else's problems are so much worse than yours you just can't see them think about this like you can be having a really bad point in your life but if you zoom out and you look at your life after this point of time, your life can change dramatically. Like you don't know what the future holds. Yet here you are, you're comparing this one point of your life to someone else's point in life. And they may be at their highest, but in the next month, they may be at their lowest and their life will never be the same again. So you can't compare lives. Like you can't compare yourself to someone else because you never know what, what can happen tomorrow. You never know how their life can look tomorrow. You never know how your life can look tomorrow. So the best thing that you can do to yourself is to just focus on yourself because anything can happen at any point of time that can change your life for the better. You might be stressing yourself out right now about something more than you really need to. You're really putting a lot of weight on your shoulders. You're carrying a lot of weight and you may not need to carry all that weight because whatever you're stressing about, maybe in the works, your life may be close to turning around. You never know what can happen next. I'll give you an example that happened to me recently as well because listening to people's examples really helped me. I find it really inspiring to hear what other people went through. That's why I'm sharing more about myself and, you know, things that I've seen around me. But one example is from my TikTok. This is a little app TikTok and I've been trying to grow on TikTok as well. I'm a relatively new creator. I started all of my social media um, like really, really late 2023. I was working really hard on my TikTok and I wasn't really getting any attention. I mean, the most I would get is a few thousand views and that was after me posting consistently for two months straight, multiple times a day, like working really hard to put myself out there. Then there was a period of time where I thought I was shadow banned. This was just two weeks ago where I would literally post a video and it would get zero views. I, I did this for a whole week and I was getting no views, literally. The maximum amount of views I would have is like 30. So I would delete my videos, re-upload them, same thing. I don't know what was happening. I was like, maybe I just suck at this. Maybe it's just oversaturated. But then I kept telling myself that I'm doing my due diligence. I'm putting the best content that I can make out there. So if it reaches the right people, then it reaches the right people. But I'm doing everything in my control to do my part. And this is how I want you to look at your life. Do what you can control. Whatever you can control, just do what's on you and the universe will take care of the rest. So even if you're applying for jobs, you're putting your best foot forward and you're not getting anything right now, that is okay. Just do like what else can you do do what is on you and let the rest work itself out so going back to my story literally one day out of nowhere i post an old video from my drafts it's all about pharmacy and now it's sitting let me check real quick how many views that video has this video is at 465,000 views mind you right before that i was getting like no views at all like i don't know what was happening but it was really persistent. I was like, I'm doing my part. If it reaches the right people, it, it will reach the right people. I went from having 300 followers 
to now having 2,700 followers. So I know it's not much. I know I'm not viral or the biggest TikToker yet, but I'm just telling you, this is a big amount of growth compared to what I was two weeks ago. So you never know what can happen. The moment that you decide to give up, the next moment could have been the moment that everything changes and turns back around. So you never know, never give up on yourself, never give up in general. You know, your family needs you to keep going. You need yourself to keep going. You owe it to your younger self. You know, you owe it to your future self to just keep going. No matter the struggle that you're going through, I promise you, you're not alone. There are a lot of other people on this earth. None of us are that special that we're experiencing something that no one else has experienced before. So trust me when I say, take care of yourself, write in your journal, book you a massage, even if you're freaking broke. I, I always say, don't take financial advice from me because I'll tell you to spend and invest your money on yourself. Um, but really book yourself a facial, book yourself a massage. If your job is making you miserable, miserable and it's a job and not a residency because there's smart times to give up and there are not so smart times to give up so if you've been working a job for a few years for example and you're being mistreated blah 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 find you a new job as soon as possible and then quit your current one give yourself enough time in between to recover and to take a break you don't know your life to your job you should not be living to work you should be working to live always remember that so Whatever it is that you think is holding you back from taking care of yourself, I think you should just freaking get rid of it. This is really it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to make any other videos about any other topic. My biggest takeaway for you is to keep going no matter what. Trust me, I have seen some dark days, um, especially in high school. I'll tell you guys more about it later, but I would literally go to school miserable. I would talk to no one. I would go home. I would sleep from the moment I got home till the next morning. I would dread going to high school every single day. And that was my life for a while. So if you think you got it bad, you probably do, but so have I, so have a lot of people. The key is to keep going and to believe in yourself, to believe that something better can happen happen in your future and to just not compare yourself because what you're seeing on the outside is not always what is actually happening on the inside so don't compare yourself to anyone no matter how horrible things seem to be going right now i think you should keep going if you have it really really bad you know if something really horrible is going on right now then you have even a bigger reason to keep going because then you can tell that story to your kids then you can tell that story to everyone in the world and they can get inspired by you so if you're really 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 struggling i think you have the biggest reason to keep going because then you can tell your story to millions of people and you can inspire them it doesn't even have to be millions you know if you tell your story to one person and it inspires them that is freaking huge so keep going no matter what you're going through you're doing amazing there is no one like you in this world and just take care of yourself you know you're all that you have just remember anything can happen at any point of time to change your life so don't give up on the universe and definitely don't give up on yourself